Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Earning My Spurs, Season 2, Episode 6 of this FM22 save, which is set in Fortaleza, Brazil, and we have been going along well, but I have something a little different to show you today. I had a request to say, how have Tottenham been doing? Well, here's how Tottenham had been the stupid that was smooth. Uh, let's try that again. Here's how Tottenham are doing. So, um, as you can see, this is last year, and the only relevant outs that you really might know about, unless you're a big Spurs fan, is Steven Bergwijn, who went to Atalanta, Jaffet Tenganga, who went to Newcastle, and Harry Winks to Everton. Davinson Sanchez goes out on loan. All right, and they brought in a whole bunch of people, Jesse Lingard, Federico Bernadeschi, um, Darwin Nunez, Nathan Ake, in on loan. A pretty good set of players. I'm quite happy to see what they've done. They spent twice as much as they, as they brought in, which is good. And then this year, uh, 70 out and 4.9 in, so basically nothing in. They haven't sold anybody but um, Nathan Ake has been purchased Sergio Roberto uh, Urchan Jakir from Trabzonspor a new goalkeeper Leo Greimel, Greimel from Rapid Wien and Tomas Alarcon from Cadiz who is I believe Chilean yes so that's what ha that's how things look. So the team looks fairly similar uh, to what it has looked before. Let's go back here where I can actually look at the Tottenham team. Ha ha ha! And yeah, we've got uh, him and Son is the most valuable player at the team. And you're thinking, wait a minute, where's Harry Kane? Not for sale. So. Um, yeah, some very valuable players here. I mean, Hung Min Son rated at 121 to 174 million. Not bad for a 30 year old. Um, so that's how things look for Spurs. Let's see how they've been doing in terms of competitions. We've only had a couple of years. Well, only one year, really. Finished fourth in 21 22. Currently seventh in the Premier League. But only 11 games in. So. Lots of time yet to see how we end up, but that's not bad. So that's how Tottenham's doing. The um, interesting part that you might be is, let's see, notice that Zinedine Zidane is currently the, the uh, manager. So that's kind of interesting. I would, I would favor that personally, uh, but I'd be interested to see what happens. Um, uh, I'm just curious what happened to the managers. Oh, they had Nuno live uh, longer in the role. Nearly two years. Three years. 20, 20, 21, 21, 22. No, two years. And Zidane just, uh, Zidane just adjoined. So, anyway, just thought that might be interesting. And, um, that you might be interested in finding out how they've been doing. We had a request in the comments, so I thought it was a good idea. And here we go. So how have we been doing? Well, pretty good. Um, you saw us beat San Sao Paulo to go to the Copa de Brazil final. Vasco da Gama, we beat 3-2 with goals all around. Corinthians, Ederson gave us the goal to win. Juventus, they, oh my god, they were 18th in the league and they scored a goal in the 90th minute to beat us. Even though we had, it was the only shot they had on goal all game. It, just so frustrating. <laughs> um, we had Quintero sent off in the 32nd minute. We, we scored to tie it, nevertheless, after the man was sent off. But it was obviously going to be very hard to win with... Um, with 10 men. Atletico Minero, Cairo Roque got his first goal for the club. 
a real scorcher from well outside the area. And Bahia, coached by Grey Hair Gaming. Um, just in honor of his game last year. We scored in the first minute, and they scored in the ninth minute, and nobody scored anymore. So, yeah, hmm. We are still in first in the league, but we are only eight points clear now instead of ten. So that's not so good, and it's not Graham, it's not Bragantino who's second anymore, but Gremio as this this stuff, these guys are just churning up and down and around and back and round and round and round. It's there's no consistency in who's up here in the in the last little while. Seven games to go, no, uh, eleven games to go. So thirty three, that's twenty eight. We're not quite safe from relegation yet, but when we win this game, if we win this game, we will be. So today's game, as I said, we can't brought you back for Bragantino, who are currently fifth. They were second when we said we'd play them, but you know, that happens. What's interesting is the Copa do Brasil final, this team here, Paraná. And you're thinking, Paraná, who the hell? Paraná. Well, let's go have a look. They are also a tricolor, and they wear blue and red and white, which is interesting. Um, however, they are two divisions down from us. They are in, uh, no, they show them in the, in the city of Bay, but they're not in the city of Bay. Uh, I don't know, they're not showing the city of B, but it's there. And uh, sorry, the city of C, but they're there, and uh, they're playing in city of C. So, and they managed to squeeze their way through, beating Botafogo, not not the big Botafogo, but a Botafogo, Flamengo, Cuiabá, and Fluminense, which are three big teams in a row. So I think we're going to actually watch that game um, because I think it will be interesting and what the heck, maybe we'll get giant killed. It'll be something interesting to happen anyway. Today we're going to play RB Bragantino, so let's go and do that now. Tactical meeting, um, I'm not making any changes to the team blindly. Let's see, we've got Barrero is tired. Well, I don't really want to bring in Titi. And Quintero is also tired. So I think we will pass on bringing anybody in. Yeah, so we're running short a couple of people because of some suspensions. Uh, Roman, Bruno Mello, and Grigori all out. But we've got a whole team out there, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Let's see how we get on with the game. Let's go there. All right, yeah, not bad. To start scoring more balls, of course. Yes. There we go. Good stuff. Let's roll. We are in our red and blues, as usual. Not a lot of teams make us change out of that because it's pretty distinctive. Nothing out of that. Okay, just a little ping pong for fun. Cairo, okay, now with the throw in on the deep. Ooh, Romarino didn't miss by much on the deep throw in there. Yago Pikachu playing right back today. 
David can't get round his man, but keeps the ball. Cabrera, you have a Pikachu. I guess they want to show you the lineup. good chances in there but we couldn't get any of all home or get on target good header away okay Luis Enrique finds the ball through for Romarino. Oh, who's got an easy finish, but I think it's going to be disallowed. I did wonder a little bit. He was well offside, it looked like, but yeah. Yeah, you can see he's well off. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, goalkeeper. That was really cool. I mean, it was a good shot and everything, but the goalkeeper never even moved. Forward, go for no, forward. Oh, always backwards, so frustrating. Oh, offside anyway. That that was a nice shot. You don't get any credit for it because it hit the bar, but it was a good shot. No, Kai Roque steals the ball. Barrero. Ederson. Robson Fernandez. Nice ball for David. David scores. But was he onside? Yes, he was. There's no question that he was onside. Good. All right, so we're back in the game, one all. Frustrating game. I've been very unlucky so far. We didn't go for that, but that's all right. Let's go see what we get. Oh, David can't get there in time, and it's picked off. Nice ball by Ederson, um, David, I should say. Robson Fernandez, that's who did it. It was a good ball from <coughs> Robson Fernandez. Gosh, I wish somebody, there we go, would make a forward pass. Another offside. Nobody's playing particularly badly. But we're not winning. Cabrera now, Luis Enrique, from Mourinho, a little chip shot for Robson Fernandez who is probably offside, oh dear, I 
Yep. I don't think we need to see it again. It was pretty obvious that he was offside. Good save, Felipe Alves. Alright, let's see what we can do about freshening things up a little bit. Can I bring on Wellington Paulista or Talisman? Hmm. Don't have a lot of options to go up front. Let's go with Shalon on the right, and just to get some fresh legs out there. We'll go attacking for the last 10 minutes, see if we can get a ball in here somehow. Nice save. corner gonna do it well that's frustrating we just can't seem to score much these days it's so annoying ah, that's really disappointing so we're only nine points clear now Nine points clear, and probably seven points when Gremio gets that game in hand. Oops, that's what I want right there. Yeah, they've got a game in hand now. And if they win it, they'll only be six points behind us. Oh, this is not good. Our lead is melting away slowly, and I'm not liking it. But not much I can do about it right now. We'll be back for the game, for the cup final against Paraná. Um, because why not? Let's see if we can throw another trophy in the closet and see if we can make it a double. We're going to keep fighting, see how we do. We'll be back for the Paraná game and then probably for Corinthians after that, which is the game that would be, I hope, where we could win it. So, um, Paraná, then Corinthians, and that will be the end of the season, I hope. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. It is my pleasure to bring it to you, and I do appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great day, and take care.